Hey everyone. So today is a tricky topic. <clears throat> I mean, grief, death, loss, sorrow, sadness, happiness, joy. All of this is hard. Um, but as Rayla understands more that Sarah's not coming back, um, her grief impacts me differently and so each day oh, my heart just breaks for the kids but because Rayla's so young there's a gap in her understanding <sighs> um, most of the time she understands that mommy's not coming back we're not going to talk to mommy. We're not going to see mommy physically walk up to us. We're not going to hug mommy. We're not going to kiss mommy. And I, I know she understands that. Every once in a while she's like, asks for mommy to come back. But I'm, I'm pretty confident she understands. Today was a rough day for me in general. And so, tonight as I put her to bed, it was even harder. Because um, the past few nights, Rayla is starting to cry she, and, and say she, she misses mommy and that she wants mommy back. In addition, the past three nights I've slept like crap. And I think when we're more tired, grief kicks our asses. And I think at night, it doubles it because you have time to sit and think. And today was one of those days where we had a lot more downtime. And so there was a lot more thinking on my end while Rayla was playing. And she's the sweetest, freaking sweetest. I, I break down and cry and she comes over and hugs me and she knows why I'm crying before she even gets to me. And then she starts throwing a ball to me to, to like play catch to make me feel happy again. And then she sits on my lap and she's like, I want to watch mommy movies. I'm like... <laughs> Okay, and so we start watching watching one of Sarah's videos when we were at the beach because she wanted to see mommy at the beach. Um, and that was the first one that popped up and so she clicked it. And so we're watching this video and I'm starting to cry. And she's like, why are you sad? And I, I explained to her that I miss mommy in, in like, <laughs> you know, in between weeps. You know, and she's like, but mommy's right there. And I was like, yes, sweetie, mommy's right there and we get to see her and listen to her. And it's beautiful and wonderful. And I still miss her. And, and she let me cry and she watched the video and, and we watched it and, and it was super sweet, but it's, it's hard. And it's a weird, it's a weird balance because I need to be there for Rayla. I need to be there for Brayden. I need to be there for Amelia. And even at their young ages, they're there for me. And <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. And heartbreaking at the same time. <sighs> so the past three nights, Rayla's started to cry. And then, like, 
I put on mommy songs. That's our nightly routine. And I just, I lay up on her bed, like up against her bed and then my, my head on her tummy and she just kind of rubs my hair the little bit that I have. And we just lay there and listen. Sometimes she asks me to sing with mommy, sometimes not. And we lay there and just let it be. That is one of the easiest moments for me to be there with Rayla and Sarah and not break down. It's insane. When I, when I listen to Sarah at night in my room before I go to bed, uh, especially if I'm having a hard day or feel stressed, I break down. Um, but when I'm in there with Rayla, it's just a different experience. I, it's like, huh. I'm not trying to suck it up while I'm with her. I'm just there in that moment. And, and I think that's, that's it. I think it's that I'm right there in that moment with Rayla and and her grief and my grief are just kind of sitting there and our sadness is there, but there's peace and there's joy because we have each other there. We have mommy's voice. And it's just amazing. And what do you do? When a three-year-old grieves. When a three-year-old misses their mommy that's never coming back. I mean, we read our books. We do some of our doggy center activities. But there is nothing. Nothing. That I think could ever prepare anyone for this to protect teach and guide through all of these feelings with a three year old and not just the loss through death but a parent leaving in general I imagine has a very, very similar, if not the same feeling of loneliness and loss and <sighs> helplessness. There it is, helplessness. So I am grabbing my own, you know, oxygen mask in the plane and I am taking care of myself you guys I'm eating right I'm sleeping as best as I can some nights are better than others uh, because I have to take care of my kids I have to but it's it's hard for anybody If you've watched this long, I'm curious your thoughts on, on taking care of a toddler and guiding them through grief. And also how you cope in that moment that you are with that toddler that is grieving for the same reason that you want to curl up in the fetal position and disappear. I think that's it. I think that that's all I got. Today, it's, it's a lot. Kids are beautiful, amazing, wonderful. And we want everything for them, everything to be perfect and beautiful and happy culture <laughs> but uh it's 
different. It's hard. It's hard because I love them like I love Sarah. Yeah. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. And as Sarah says, be kind and make good choices. Love you guys.